Moving on to Bengaluru, the Tipu Sultan Jayanti celebrations by Sidharamaya led Congress government saw protests break out in Bengaluru on Thursday with BJP leaders demanding a probe into the killing of 17 right wing activists. Security was beefed up across the state and several preventive arrests were made with BJP state president BS Yerurappa and Shobha Karanlaje being taken into custody. Section 144 was also imposed in Medicare and Dakshin Kannada. Uh, earlier, in fact, around 50 BJP protesters were arrested in Medicare too. Those arrested include BJP's Koragu unit president Manu Mutappa. All of them were picked up under preventive arrest. Private buses and autos stayed off the road and shops remained shut. Uh, protests Sidharamaya led Congress government today went ahead and celebrated Tipu Jayanti at Banquet Hall in Vidhan Sauda. Meanwhile, protests broke out here at uh, may, uh, here at Town Hall. In fact, more than 100 protesters gathered here showing support for the BJP against the uh, celebrations of Tipu Jayanti. In fact, uh, uh, Shobha Karanlaje and BJP State, uh, State President uh, B.S. Yadurappa and Suresh Kumar have also been uh, taken into preventive custody. What we also know is that security is uh, uh, here, uh, have been beefed up here at Town Hall and uh, one company of RAF and more than a hundred police personnel have gathered here to take stock of situation. However, the civilian life have not been affected here in Bengaluru, uh, but uh, Section 144 has been imposed uh, in uh, areas like Madikeri, uh, Chitradurga and Chikmagluru. In Bengaluru, Sri for Magic Breaks Now. The BJP was seen protesting across Karnataka. Take a look. The entire state in almost all of Taluk headquarters and also district headquarters, our workers are uh, protesting and uh, police are arresting our workers. And yesterday we had been to uh, Delhi and met Rajnath Singh and we requested him to make a proper inquiry and refer it to NIA. For which he has agreed and is already inquiry I am going to start. And you know very well more than 18 deaths took place from la last recently. And they were yesterday also some incidents took place. So I don't know why Sidramaya is bent upon uh, the uh, Tipu Sultan uh, program. So, we are ready to face the consequence and now we are going to arrest, uh, protest and we are going to uh, take uh, participate in the program and in the Bangalore, not only in Bangalore, throughout the state the protest is going on. So let us see what will happen and uh, people will teach them a lesson to the Sidramaya and, uh, and according to me, to weaken Home Minister, this uh, Sidramaya is doing all this uh, thing, uh, that is my opinion, personal opinion. Hey, say, Tipu Jayanti is being observed by uh, the district administrations under the Canada and Culture Department. Uh, local MLA is supposed to preside over since he is not interested. He has bycarded the uh, program. We have taken uh, uh, local MLA. Uh, How many did you uh, around 50 we have taken into custody under uh, Section 71 Karnataka Police Act. You know, all sensitive areas we have covered and we have made uh, elaborate bandhavas. Nothing will happen. 144 section is also under. We are implementing, we are announcing. Uh, it is, uh, if somebody is to try to you know, violate section 144, we will take serious action. I have spoken to the SPs of the border districts. Uh, they are also taking care. We have also sealed our uh, uh, borders. Uh, the, those are checkposts bordering with Kerala, Dakshin Kannada, Asan and Mysore district. We have sealed all the borders. In view of the celebration of Tipu Jayanti on 10th, we have discussed with all the leaders of all communities and we have taken their view and everybody assured us that they will strictly adhere to the guidelines and they will celebrate in indoor uh, functions which is being organized by state government uh, in uh, uh, one in Dharwad and one in Hubli. So there will be no processions, no bike rallies, no, no function in open places. We have imposed uh, section 144 also 
from morning 5 am to midnight and uh, there will no congregation of more than 5 or no procession etc while security gets beefed up in Karnataka, our reporter Nikhil Joshi gets us details of the security arrangements in Koragu, which was the epicenter of violence last year. This was the apprehension and the fear that uh, there would be protests pro and against the celebration of Tipu Jayanti. A bunch of youth here uh, who have come down onto the streets managed to defy the prohibition order section 144 imposed and they have come out of the street protesting the government's decision to celebrate Tipu Jayanti. The slogan hearing is clearly against the chief minister as they accuse the chief minister of being bullish with this particular decision of celebrating the Tipu Jayanti and also accuse the government of appeasing a certain community by celebrating it. Not just that, they also bring back uh, the issue of Kutapa being killed. The last time around when Tipu Jayanti was celebrated and that killing too came by in this very place in the town of Madikeri in Kodugu district. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.